video, we're going to be writing stretches and shrinks of absolute value functions. So here we have the equation where we're letting f of x equal the absolute value of x minus 3 minus 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to be writing a function g whose graph is a horizontal shrink of the graph of f by a factor of one third. And then we're going to write a function h whose graph is a vertical stretch by the graph of f by a factor of 2. So let's review what that does, what that looks like for our equation. So here we see that when we are doing a horizontal stretch or shrink, that means that our graph is going to stretch away from or shrink towards our y-axis. And our scale factor is on the inside of our function with our x value. Now notice that when my scale factor was a 3, it's written as a shrink by 1 third. And when my scale factor is a 1 half, I have a stretch by 2. So we see that when we're told the number, when we write it down, we want to take its reciprocal. And when we're doing a vertical stretch or shrink, that means that our graph is going to stretch away or shrink towards our x-axis. And our scale factor is in the front of the function and will be distributed. Now if we look there, we see that when our scale factor is a 4, it's written as a 4. And when it's written as a 1 -fifth, that it's a 1 -fifth. And so our vertical stretches and shrinks are going to stay true to what we're told for our scale factors. So let's go back to our problem. So in example A, we're going to be writing a function g whose graph is a horizontal shrink by a factor of one third. Now remember, that means that if our factor is one third, if it tells us that, then what we're going to write is the reciprocal, which is 3 over 1, or 3. So that tells us that our g of x is going to look like an f of 3x. So now we're going to finish that up, and we're going to take that 3x and make sure we plug it in for our x value in our equation. So we're going to have that g of x equals the absolute value of, and remember that in our x's spot, that's where we need to put that 3x. And then we still have our minus 3, close the absolute value sign, minus 5. And there's nothing for that 3x to distribute or to combine with, so that means that our g of x is going to equal the absolute value of 3x minus 3, minus 5, and that's going to be the answer to our problem A. Now problem B, we're going to write a function H whose graph is a vertical stretch that has a factor of 2. So remember that if our factor is 2, that means we're going to use a 2. And so our H of X is simply going to be a 2 times f of x, which means that we're going to have h of x equal 2 times our equation, which is the absolute value of x minus 3 minus 5. And so remember, like we saw on another video, that we have two parts, one, two, because we only have two things that are being separated by either a plus or a minus sign, which means that the two is going to go one time to our absolute value symbol and one time to our five, which is going to give us that h of x equals two times the absolute value of x minus three, because our two doesn't go into the absolute value symbol, it just goes out into the front minus 2 times 5, which is 10. And so here we see the answer to part B. And we're done.